drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world welcome to sap ui5 training session today in this session we're going to discuss one control that is row repeater so why this row repeater is used is it is used for the pagination purpose suppose you have a multiple data so this is a row repeater this is one of the complex control in sap ui5 and this is like an repeating suppose if you want to have a, a multiple rows you can have multiple rows and the pagination is allowed in this and one more thing you can have sorting and everything over here itself you can sort see no more i want to sort with the country so you can have sorting according to the country and then you can have filters here itself all countries you want to say only germany you want to see so you can see only germany see only germany you can see only usa you want to see only us you can see like that sorting and filtering is done sorting is gender first you want all males first and then females then you can have that first all females comes yeah first all female comes and then males or last name accordingly you want to sort you can sort so we're going to see this now yeah this is a row repeater so i'm going to use this and i'm going to close all this now and then i'm going to create one in sap ui5 app 2 i'm going to create one more view so how are you going to create view inside this i'm going to right click and new and file once i click the file then i'll be using it here so here i'll be writing a file name row repeater Yeah, row repeater control. Yeah, dot view dot js. So that it means it is view dot js. It is view. See normal. What is the difference between view dot js and js? So normal js is component. Suppose in the components when we discuss about components, that time will tell you it's a separate file. If you want to have your own control. So that time it will be only dot js but when you want to have a view or controller it should be view dot js or controller dot js specifically we have to give for views and controllers rest of the files like custom js or your own formatters like that you have to give dot js only dot view.js so I'm going to finish this yeah, I'm going to paste it here row repeater and then after this okay, I'm going to repeat I'm going to return this one second. Return. Roll repeater. Return. Yeah, I'm going to return this. I'm going to save this. Yeah, outside the class. Okay. So now we're going to start. Like this, 
we are not going to do we are going to start this should be inside the create content so sap ui dot jsp js view and i am going to add it so we already done it so we are going to make use of that so it will be up I'm going to paste it here and then we have to change the name it should be row repeater so row repeater control so row repeater control control so it is SAP UI for app 2 and then inside that you have a row repeater control then we are calling only first uh, controller itself we are not taking any new one and then we are trying to close this so we're going to close this and is the one we have closed it we have closed it and this is the one which will be closed for the control that's it and we're gonna save it and we're gonna see what is this error ah, there is no error so this is what the row repeater logic will be writing it so we'll be seeing each one the line by line what the code is so first what we are trying to do is we are going to create a row repeater so it is sap ui commons dot row repeater so in this i'm giving an id and whenever i'm using a sap ui dot commons we have to check whether this is included in index.html or not so we'll go to index.html so in this index.html we have we have it here sapui.commerce it is included so we can make use of that control so we'll go to the control yeah so now next there is set no data so when the data is not there that time i want to present a text saying that a text view saying sorry no data available like this we're going to come so we're going to see this first how when the data is not there so when the data object i'm taking a variable called data object in this data object i'm taking a set of data so that set of data is like this the last name, last name, name, href, src, and then agenda and country. So country is US, DE, US, US, DE, etc. So this is the data which we have taken. Now and next. So we got the data. And then this is this is just to increase the number of lines don't worry about this now we'll see this later now next what i've created is i've created a model i've created a model and then to this model i'm setting a data that is data object so data object is nothing but this this data so the data object this is the data which we have which we have taken it in a json format so we are setting up the data so once we set up the data the data will be inside this so now i am setting up the model to the core so this is how we get set it to the core this is globally you are setting globally we are setting it to
we are globally we are setting it to globally we are setting the model so last time uh, in this previous session we have seen locally how the data is and we have just to that control we are binding it now here we are binding it globally and in few examples we'll be seeing how to assign a model to the view but we are assigning to the core object so to the core we are setting up the model and this is not the name model it's normal model so if it is you want to have the name model then we have to give a name for that and there is a different way of accessing it so we are setting up globally and then co title so i'm going to title get the title and set it so sap ui core dot title title the text is for sap ui dot core dot title is having property called text so i'm making use of text and icon icon is images slash sap logo dot gif so there is no images folder over here so there are no images inside these images they are paste like this so you can make use of this you can have few photos here and we can make use of that but there is no sap logo dot gif so we're going to see how that can be done so we can directly place it here that's okay now we will be going to a tooltip another property whenever we go on employees text the tooltip will apply employees and the next we are creating filters for this so how to create the filters first we go and see the api reference for this so we'll go here and we'll place it here we'll open it in a new tab and we'll see what are the properties and what are the functions they have so we'll go here yeah in this we have row repeater have a visible visibility number of rows by default it is 5 current page and have you seen the in the table we have a by default the number of rows are 10 now row repeater has 5 and there is a difference between a table and a row repeater because most of them get confused but row repeater and table acts like one and the same but in row repeater we can have we can have our own sorters and filters so that's the best thing which we can have and then see there are the filters and sorters option so how are you gonna add it so we have seen this here so it is going to be a cpui.com row, row repeater and filter we're going to add an instance here like the first filter and text is all countries so text is all countries and the next one is second filter so we are taking a second filter and we are taking a third filter here and the text we are placing it all countries and then Germany then USA so we go here and check see first we have taken a logo and then we are placing an employees that is title and then we are placing a filter all countries Germany and USA so how are you going to place this all countries Germany and USA so you have to use row repeater 
filter. So we go here and we type row repeater filter. So row repeater filter. Row repeater filter. So this is a row repeater filter. We're gonna use that is an aggregation. See the filters are accepted by SAP UI dot commons dot row repeater. So we're gonna have when if you want to have a filters, then you can use you have to use this library. So SAP UI commons dot row repeater filter. And if you want to use sorters, then you can use the sorters like this SAP UI commons dot row repeater sorter. So like this you have to do and if you want to have a title that is SAP UI dot code dot title. So like that only we have used. So we have used first a title in the title only we have an icon that means it will give you a logo and next see SAP UI dot code dot title we have used. So how you get an idea of what we have to use. So that can be only be done by using API reference. Here only he has given clearly mentioned that please use this SAP UI code dot title. So we have made use of this control and we have written employees and a logo for that. And the next is filters. So filters how we have done SAP UI commons dot row filter we have used and we have done it. So we have three filters now because we have thinking of all countries Germany and USA. So all countries that's fine and the filters we have to filter the all countries will not have any filters because we want to display all data. So when it comes to Germany then we have a filter that is equal to Germany. Germany code is DE. So which one is DE? The country. The country whenever in the data we will see the data first. So whenever there is a country property model property when it is DE that time you can have filter called Germany. This one filter we can have. So country when the country model property equal to so okay. So when we use SAP UI model dot filter SAP UI dot model dot filter that time we can have a model property first. And then EQ, it can be EQ greater than or less than we can make use of it. So there are few operations we can use in the filter property. So first we will go to SAP UI model dot filter and we'll see what are available. So we'll go, we'll go, we'll go to SAP UI dot commons dot filter. So we'll go to API reference. So in this API reference, we have SAP UI model dot filter. So when we have a filter to this, we how do we gonna do it? We have a S path that is nothing but the uh, model property we will be giving and then operator. So what are these operators? We have a different type of operators. It is equal to greater than less than like that and then we will give the value. Now in our case we need S property as country and then S operator as equal to that is EQ and then the value name it is DE and we will be seeing the different types of operators so this operators is like this so it's sap ui dot model dot property so when we click on this what are the properties we can use will be displayed here so we can have a bt that is in between operator and contains we can have and ends with we can have an eq means equal to ge means greater than gt means yeah sorry GE means greater than or equal to, GT means greater than, LE means less than or equal to, LT means less than. 
and any means not equal to and starts with like this you have a different types of filter operator so we can make use of only this and we can write the constructor so we have we are making use of eq so that is equal to in our code so we'll go to the code and we'll see so this is a filter property that is country equal to and then this is an operator and de and next we are placing the tooltip so once someone go and on the top of this button germany then it will show show employees working in germany so like that we are placing a tooltip similarly we are doing it to the us so we are taking another filter and it is sap ui commons dot row repeater filter and we are giving one name id that is and then first text which text need to be displayed and we are giving usa and then we are applying filters so how we going to fil apply filters that is an aggregation so in this aggregation i am taking new sap ui dot model dot filter because it accepts only this inside this filter so new I have taken and I have taken a country model property and which is equal to and it is us and then tooltip i'm giving showing working who is working in us that displays and next we have finished filters and then we are using create sorters now we we go to this code yeah. so we have seen this now finished title logo and three filters this finished see when we go on this so there will be a tool tip comes up see show employees working in germany so show employees working in USA like this and then sorting so how the sorting sort by is always by default comes and the sorting things can be displayed so we're gonna sort so sorting is nothing but ascending descending right so it is ascending descending you can sort it so we'll be going to sorter we are taking a one sorter and how to get a sorter sap ui dot commons dot row repeater sorter now so we have row repeater filter and we have a row repeater sorter so we'll see what row repeater sorter has inside this and what it accepts so we have to go to row repeater sorter see these are the sortings so it accepts sap ui commons dot row repeater sorter when you click on this it only returns SAP UI dot repeater dot sort. Click on this, so it will navigate to some other SAP UI dot common dot row repeater dot sorter. Inside this, we have text property. You can go down and you can check. So we have text icon and sorter. Sorter is nothing but an object. So we go if we go to our code and you'll see what are writing, what we are writing. First we are writing we have taken an id third sorter called text that is a property called text so we go here and we got the property called text and then we are using icon no we are using sorter so we'll go there and we'll sort it sorter is an object not a string so once we click on this what we can use in this zone is an object so get the sorter object so how we get this sorter object is we have to see the set sorter so once we have a set sorter so this is what it gives so what it accepts is sorter it's sap ui model dot sorter it accepts so we'll be going we will be using this sap ui dot sorter and we'll be seeing what is sap ui model dot sorter is we go there 
and API reference and that is UI model and sorter here we have so once we double click is you will be getting SAP UI dot model dot sorter so how we gonna use this is we have to write new SAP UI model dot sorter and in the braces we have to write S path S path is nothing but your model path or model property model property and is it descending or ascending so we're gonna see this and we can have groups also so whether it is defining see here by default it is descending false means if it is descending false means it is ascending by default so by default the sorter is ascending so if you want to have a descending you can have descending so we'll go here and here so by default it is false so we are making it true so it means it is descending the country will be descending whenever we have sort and it's a sort by tooltip so tooltip it's by default it comes for anything you can have it whenever the text comes that time you can use tooltip and then we are going to second sorter so the second sorter how are we gonna do so we're gonna so do it in a similar fashion so new sap ui dot commons dot row repeater sorter in that you have given an id so in that in this we have giving a text called gender and then a sorter that is nothing but a filter similar to the filters so sorter is an aggregation for this so sap repeater sorter and then to this we are giving a value that is nothing but an object new sap ui model dot sorter and we are giving gender and we are giving it false so this means this is descending false so this gender will be ascending now so tooltip sort by gender so whenever we hover this it will come as sort by gender so next is sorter 3 so it is sap ui commons dot row repeater sorter and the second sorter i have given a name like an id and the text is last name and sorter and sap ui model dot sorter and that's the last name it is false so this is ascending so only country is descending gender and last name is ascend that is what we have done it for the sorter and then we are setting we have taken all this first we have to set a title and we're going to add filters so we go here yeah so we have taken instance of this but we want to place it here so now we're going to place it in this row repeater we go here so we are going to set the title that is o title what we have written is employee and the image and then row repeater add filter we are going to do we are going to add three filters and we're going to add three sorters like how do we want to do add filter add sorter and we're going to set design for this that is standard and set number of rows by default it is five you can increase it and then we have set current page so it means you are setting up the current page as one so once we change this by default if you want to set it for three or something you can do that and again you have to set title or title so we can repeat this this is already repeated we have already done it here so we don't have to do it. and then next next we are going to do a matrix layout inside this we can't use any table or something we have to use only a template called matrix layout so we'll go here we can use see we are doing alignment properly we are aligning so how we gonna align we are gonna see that so first we are creating a template that is row template so we're gonna repeat that row template every time whenever the data comes 
So we're going to see create a single row. So we are taking a matrix layer with an ID called the matrix. And then, then we are taking a var that is variables we are taking matrix row, cell and a control. So we are taking three variables. And the first row template, we are setting up the width that is 70%. And then we are taking a row that repeats every time that is matrix layout row. And we are creating a controls inside it. So we are taking, we are going to take a control now. So how are we going to do it? First image, next label, next label, label and a link. That is what we have. One, two, three, four, five. Five controls we're going to place in a row repeater row. So that is what we're going to do now. So we have taken a matrix layout in that we have given an ID and we are now we are creating a row that repeats every time. So first we are taking a control image. So how we're going to take an image that is new SAP UI commons dot image and then we're going to see control dot set height. And 60. I'm setting the height and width for this control. And then I'm going to bind the property for SRC. That is a model property SRC and the value which I'm going to set it. And the matrix cell because we are going to sell it's each cell it comes with. So we can add a content of this control to the cell and we're going to add a matrix row add cell so similarly we do it for the label for the last name and similarly we read it for the name so how we got bind property because we have seen already how we're going to do bind property and etc this is how we're going to do, do it for the control okay similarly we are going to do the labels for the name country and href href is nothing but a link so how do we going to use the link sap link and the matrix shell add content and we are going to add a row to this matrix row that's it now we're going to bind rows we have a data we have set it up to this but what rows need to be repeated that is slash data and row template this is how we're going to do it for the bind rows we're going to give template row repeater dot bind rows like how we have done it for the table table we have directly given slash data but here when it comes to matrix layout or row repeater row repeater we have to give a template always a template we have to give when it comes to a table the columns are nothing but templates but when it comes to row repeater matrix layout is a template so in this matrix layout we have created a row and in that row we have taken five controls and we have placed it in each cell that means each column so here you remember the each cell whatever we are talking about matrix cell that is nothing but each column and then we are placing it to the matrix row all cells first we are adding five cells and then total five cells we are adding it to a matrix row so this is how we're going to do and slash data that is um, coming from the data like this so we have data option so that's the reason we are binding at this so because this is repeating okay so now we're gonna see this we're gonna run this so we'll go to index.html and we have to change it to row repeater here so that we can check your changes So we're going to run our application and we're going to just publish and then synchronized. Now it's good to go. So I'm going to refresh this and once I refresh, so there is an error. So we'll go to index.console. So in this console, row repeater is not defined. So why row repeater is not defined is we'll see. So we're going to run again once again then it will give you which line 
that is row repeater is not defined. So we'll see. This is row repeat control. So it will go to row repeater control. And then in this row repeater is not defined. Yeah. So here oh row repeater that we have to do. I'm gonna save this publish and synchronized. So we're gonna refresh this. So once we refresh, here we come. Have you seen? Now this is by default two, three, four, and when you refresh this, it will by default it comes to one. So we don't have images now. So we're gonna have this image now. How we're gonna add the images? I'm just giving you the, this URL. So right click, copy the image URL. Yeah, open the image URL in a new tab. Just open it. This comes. So what we have to add? Memo is this. This is the one. The URL I'm going to add it now. So I have to add once this also. Open a new images. So this is what so we're gonna add it to all the data so there's an image URL that need to be added yeah, we're gonna add it so similar fashion so we are not going to take much time of this so for each label we have to add each data so this is how the row repeater works so we're gonna see different images. You can have the images locally and you can have the images from the internet also. When you have from the internet, you have to give the proper link. And I'm now what link I'm using is I'm using a demo kit images that is coming from the server. So I'm locally, I'm not saving it. So I'm saving my storage, local storage, and I'm using an internet image. So when we develop standalone applications, we have to make sure locally we store the images. Why? Because sometimes that internet, whatever you have using the link may not work, might be down. That time your images will not be displayed. So it's better to have locally. So always it's recommended to have locally, but sometimes you can use a web URL also like this you can use so like this we have done and then for the source also here and then for the title I'm setting up an icon so we can have to use this also I'm going to save it so once I save it I'll go republish here synchronized and I'll go here and I'm going to refresh my application once I refresh my application you will see all the yeah here we go so we got a logo and we got employees and we got all countries and etc we got everything now all countries Germany USA and how the sorting works so if you want to have this we'll see the filters first when you have uh, all countries, so once you have all countries, so that time, what do you have to do? Once you click on this, all countries comes. Once you click on Germany, once you click on Germany, all Germany will come. So how many? So if you want to check, you can check. If you want to see. And we're going to see now. See last name 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How did it come? So what we have done is we have used a simple code here. So we're going to have a simple code here. Here. So we are taking a for loop. Just we don't want to write so many lines. So 100 lines. So we're going to do it here like this. So we have taken a variable called n. 
equal to 1 to 100 and I'm repeating this a data object and how to push it is data dot push so data object is a reference of this and inside this we have data how to access it by using dot and then in this I'm pushing one entry that is nothing but one object so like this so I'm gonna do this like this data object dot a data dot push so once we have pushed the last name and name and src and then country and then actual we're gonna push simply we are adding 100 rows so how we're gonna add 100 rows is last name dot n if it is one at one two two and src on demand dot is a simple main ph and then country d so we are adding 100 rows for the country d only so that's the reason so when we go to our code and we'll see all d only get hundreds hundreds like this so when it comes to usa there will be no things. So everything is in the normal. Okay, we are not seeing any the hundred throw whatever we have created hundred rows that is not displayed in US. So that's how. And we'll go here. And once again, I'll say this is how we create a row in our model so how do we want to do we're going to push because it's an array it's an object data object so how to get an object inside data object dot date data and dot push will push an object to this json this is how we're going to do it and then we are setting up everything and now we're gonna see filters all filters see now it's come it comes back to normal and we can have Germany and we can have USA now now after applying the filter you want to sort it by the next level so you want to sort it by country you can do it because we don't have because already we have filtering it so there is no purpose of doing this and country when it comes to all country you can do it suppose if you have 10 countries that time it will be useful and then gender you want to sort inside this see first female comes and then male okay and you can have sorting by last name once you do it with by last name see the last name d f i like this that is ascending so for gender we have given ascending and for the country we have given descending so there's a reason it comes to us first so here is you want to check you can check all countries so so total is 27 rows all countries and then I'll say country all US there is no Germany so yes so US and then there is another country and then France and D like this we have so this is how we sort and use filters in row repeater that is an advantage in row repeater so we can have All. So how we have done the row filters, row repeaters is first we have taken a data and inside this data we have placed last name, name, href, src and a link, a gender and a country. 
So these are the properties we have used inside the data. So once the data is not available, it will say sorry, no data available. So we're going to check that now when the data is not available. So how we're going to do that is we have set the data to null. We're going to set data to null, republish and synchronize. Then we're going to refresh this. See, sorry, no data available. So like this, we can have a custom message. So I'm going to revert back the changes. So after getting the data, we are setting up in a JSON model and we are and using get core set model. And then we are having a filters and we have taken a title first and then so this is a title, employees, filters first and sort it. We haven't written anything sort by, but by default it comes. That is the beauty of row repeater. So filters and sorters we can have. But when it comes to table, we can't have. Explicitly we have to give. Then we are repeating all the rows by a row repeat template. Whatever you have taken, you have taken it in, should be taken in a template. And that template you have to bind it. So what we have taken, I have taken a row template that is matrix layout with an ID and three variables and setting up the width as 70%. You can reduce this width and then you have taken a row. So you are setting up a page right here. Now it is a standard. There are certain designs also while configuring it. You're going to see this. This one, number of rows will be increasing. First, we'll run this application. Yeah, this is now one, two, three, four, five, right? So we're going to increase it to six now. And we'll see. We'll increase it to six rows. That's how we have. And when you increase it, Six, six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want to set a current page to something called five. You can do that. And you're going to refresh this. So current page will be the five. See, look at the comes. So like this, you can set current. So by default, it should be one. It's always good and we'll see the designs what are the designs available so we'll go to for api first we have to go to the api and row repeat is sorter right so we're gonna use row repeater okay in this row repeater we're gonna have a design yeah in this design it accepts by default it is standard we can have a different designs so how are you going to do it? Pro get the property or value of that. Just click on this. Is it bare shell or transparent? I'm going to use bare shell that displays without headers, toolbar or footer. So we don't want to have that. We want to have footers and headers. And when it says transparent, the row content background appears transparent. We'll see bare shell and transparent how it works. So when you say bare shell, gonna refresh our application so once we refresh our application see there is no header and footer we're just displaying this so we want headers and footers as per our requirement so we're gonna use transparent now so transparent. I'm going to save this and once it is republished and synchronized that will come so I'm going to refresh this. Yeah. So background image is transparent. So you will not get in any. See, there is no lines and etc. That is missing over here. See here, 
so we will be putting a standard only standard is good and it is achieves us so when you don't want any lines or something that time you can have so we will repeat it so this is standard standard has this lines see it is properly aligned it looks good the standard one so if you don't want this then that time you can change it to transparent This is what all about row repeater. So thank you for listening. And in the next session, we'll be talking about other controls. Thank you.